Hey everybody, Brian Tro come to you from Mossy Creek Fly Fishing with your fly fishing forecast. The date today is Monday, the 27th of June. So, fortunately, the only reason I'm in here today and not out floating the river is because we got a lot of rain yesterday. So certain parts of the valley got up to two inches. We had horrible thunderstorms come through right around uh, two o'clock, three o'clock, and some of that just lingered on and on. On top of that, um, last Wednesday we had some pretty major storms hit the valley as well. So it's been a little bit of a roller coaster with the water levels. Um, and to be honest with you, uh, with it being the first morning after the rain, we're still trying to figure out exactly how much each of these drainage has got. So take this with a little bit of grain of salt. I can tell you the Shenandoah River um, is big and it's brown. Uh, sometimes it's not always about how much the rivers spike and go up. Um, but how dirty they got and you know the gauges don't always tell you that you got to put eyes on the water so basically when we get really heavy thunderstorms around here and it pounds hard really quickly um, that can put more silt sediment dirt dust pollen everything into the river so the water clarity is going to be off for the next couple of days and hopefully we can get back on sooner rather than later the good news as far as those rivers are concerned is prior to this rain they were fishing really really well um, I expect as soon as they clear up and begin to fall back down to normal levels, they're going to be right where they were. We were crushing fish on Murdich minnows, CK bait fish, um, white zudlers were working well, critter mites, you know, Dobson flies are starting to hatch. So the critter mites, the helger mites, sorry, are getting more active and moving around. And so the fish are eating those like crazy. So um, all good things to come, but the James and the Shenandoah are going to need a couple more days to kind of uh, clean up once that brown dirty brown water starts to turn to what we like to call margarita green that's when the fun starts back up again it looks like the next four or five days are going to be dry so after this uh rain that's just kind of stubbornly sticking around here on monday pushes out um it should be falling and it should be clearing because there's not a lot of rain in the forecast for the next three four days um, so cold front came through it's gonna be cool tonight low humidity and uh, things ought to just start to improve after that. So, um, so that's the river. Um, Mossy Creek, we posted a couple pictures of that yesterday afternoon after the rain. It got really, really dirty. I mean, like two inches of viz dirty. Um, we've got some folks out this morning checking it out. We've already had a couple reports of some fish caught. So, you know, that's one of the few trout streams around that uh, even when it gets dirty, you can still manage some fish. You just got to kind of change up the way you've been fishing. They're not going to sit there and sip trichos all morning when there's only a couple inches of visibility. Um, however, the creek, the fish that live in that creek are used to that creek getting dirty. Our fish that live in our freestone streams up at 2,000 feet, that water never really gets dirty. It doesn't have those fine sized sediments that, um, that fill in when you have high rains. And so folks that are used to just fishing freestone water, they go and see like, dirty water and they think, oh man, this is it, this is over. But folks who know Mossy well know that um, that cloudiness that'll, that'll be slowly clearing today into tomorrow, um, that can give you a huge advantage uh, that, that you didn't have otherwise. So browns are highly nocturnal and when it's been crystal clear water, bluebird skies for like days and days, um, having the cover of some of that stain can be helpful. So get out there. Once you can start to see the moss beds a little bit, that helps you navigate if you're fishing a stream or a nymph. That way you're not just getting hung up every two seconds. Um, but those creeks ought to start clearing up over the next 24 hours. Um, up in the mountains, the good news from these uh, last two or three big storms is just what the doctor ordered to keep the brook trout fishing going for a couple more weeks. All right, are there still going to be a couple of creeks that are a little low? Sure. But the Blue Ridge got a really good bump. Uh, the Dry River is in good shape. Um, so ride the, ride the wave while it's there. Uh, still not being super selective on their foods. The brook trout are opportunistic. They'll eat anything. They'll eat moths. It doesn't really matter, okay? Um, get good presentations, get good drifts. They'll be happy to eat it. There are definitely a lot more terrestrials uh, showing up. In fact, speaking of terrestrials, we'll go back one second. I saw uh, the first Japanese beetles of the year uh, in my yard this week. All right, so you'll see them starting to emerge. Usually takes a couple of weeks before they get out in huge numbers and get on all that multiflora rows and then really start falling in the creek. But 
they're here. The Beatles have arrived. Beatlemania is almost upon us. So for those of you that like to tie, you better finish them up. The Crow Beetle, look it up. It's like one of the best beetle patterns that you could possibly make. All right, C-R-O-W-E, Crow Beetle. Uh, anyway, um, those are all things that are going to be fishing better and better over the next couple of weeks. Uh, there's still yellow sallies. I'll keep saying that till they're gone up there in the mountains. Um, but a lot of our major mayfly hatches are done. So the fish are getting, you know, worrisome. They'll look at any food and, and consider any food. So yeah, um, heard our first dog day cicadas this week. So a lot of the summertime foods are starting to show up. And as soon as the water levels kind of get right, uh, everybody's going to be happy and everybody's going to be out eating them. So anyway, uh, I know with this high water, we've already had a lot of calls this morning on when's this going to fish well and did they get too much there. Uh, we'll do our best to stay on top of that and obviously over the next couple of days we'll have a better feel for it. So if you're looking to go fishing by uh, the later parts of the week, um, everything should be in great shape. So nice summer weather, good little punch of extra water for the brook trout. That means oxygen, habitat, and food, everything they need with one nice rain, all right? What works out well up in the mountains can set things off a little bit down on the bigger rivers, but that's no big problem either. A couple days, Shenandoah will be back in good shape. All right, check in with us, give us a call, email us if you have questions, or better yet, stop in and see us. See y'all next week.